Hey, this is David again, and you can see I've got a bucket and what looks like a plunger on a stick. What that is, is my non-electric clothes washer. And all it is, I went and bought a cheap uh, solid rubber plunger from the store. It cost about $2. Took the smallest hole saw bit that I had and drilled out four holes. And then I took a lid of a bucket and put a, a trap a connector, PVC trap connector. It just screws in, right? And then what you do, when that squeezes down, basically it's going to push water out those holes. So then you just put it in there, put the lid on, and then move it up and down and you do your uh, your laundry so we're going to try it out a little bit put a couple of towels and miscellaneous stuff not a whole lot you don't overload this thing basically it's for like shop towels and really dirty clothes for working outside it doesn't have the capacity of a regular washer but you do uh, it's a lot easier than using the washboard put some of my homemade laundry detergent in there I'm gonna do that while Jenny's gone so she don't see the big mess all right put some more socks or whatever This is going to force the water through there. That's what the stick's for. If I'd have just left the regular plunger on there, it'd beat me to death I'm trying to agitate the load. The longer stick gives me more leverage. I don't know if you could tell, but that water is a little dirty, which is exactly what we wanted. It's it's forced, the plunging action has forced the water and the detergent through the clothes. Therefore, it's kind of cleaned up a little bit. Now all we'll do is we'll just dump out the dirty water and put in rinse water and then just rinse it like that until the water comes out clean. Then we could wring it out, but that induces wrinkles, so I don't like doing that way. So what we'll do is we'll just hang it up, you know, over the edge of the bucket, or I've got a bigger Rubbermaid tub, and let it drip out until it's dry enough to put on a uh, clothesline. And like I said, I wouldn't want to do my laundry like this every day but if I've got a bunch of old shop rags or I was out digging or something in the yard and all muddy, don't want to get that in the uh, washer, especially the oily rags, so I can do extremely dirty clothes like this and maybe pre-wash it before the, uh, they get in my laundry. It'd also work if we didn't have power and we had to do, do clothes. But the reason, like I said, I got into this is... Uh, you know, if you were to use cloth diapers or, you know, hygiene products or whatever, uh, kind of don't want to just throw them in the washer. That might be a little dirty. And that's how I got into this, even though we haven't quite uh, got past the theoretical stage with all that yet. Uh, I'd just rather prefer the stuff that you buy at the store until I absolutely had to use it. But uh, that's all there is to it. And... Uh, we're going to go mess with the beat stuff for a little while. So till next time, you can always catch us on the blog at www.tngun.com.